Okay, so I got a 79 Sierra here, and it actually has an 89 TBI in it. And it's had a code 13. And I checked the blink codes on it, which I'm talking about that. If you don't know how to check the blink codes. So obviously this is an 89 engine, it's not factory for this truck, so I'm not sure exactly where it's at, I'm sure this um, connector here but I'm assuming it's somewhere in this area if you had an actual 89. But these two pins on the far, far right, just get a paper clip and jump them with the key off and then turn your key on. And then watch your check engine light. This one actually has, check engine light was just put right there. There's a little, um, there's a little spot there for it. And start counting the blinks, it'll blink. Usually at first it'll blink once, then twice. It does that a couple cycles of that. That's just saying that everything's working right. And after that, it'll start continuously blinking the different codes that are on the, on the ECM. So, <clears throat> with the code 13, that was for a knock sensor signal. So I started looking at it. And I found two things. So this uh, wire right here truck when it was wired wasn't done the best so they kind of just ran wires wherever they wanted and so this blue one right here is for the knock sensor and if you look it goes right down there past the exhaust manifold so getting down there looking the whole wire is burnt through it's rubbing on the exhaust manifold and you can see if you look right down you can see that that silhouette of the sensor right there with the wire going into it, that's the knock sensor. So, my new one right here, this, um, this plastic piece on the old one is just broken. And it's flopping all over the place, so I'm not, I mean, who knows whatever else is going on with it. So I'm gonna change that. And I've got a new pigtail here. I'm gonna wire that in, reroute the wire, and hopefully that gets rid of my code and I get a little bit better than nine and a half miles per gallon after that. So here's the wire. You see it's all burnt through right there. And then the sensor. Yeah, it's probably not working so well, especially a uh, sensor and wire combination here. So we'll see how she goes when I put the new one on. Okay, you can see you got the sensor changed. It's right, this is the starter right there. So uh, one bit of information. You either need to drain the coolant or be ready to have a little shower. I didn't realize it was tied into a coolant passage there. So I had a little surprise, but got the other one in real quick. So it's not, not too big of a deal. Though.